hey what's up guys so welcome to another tutorial this is a tutorial of how to set virtual dj for scratching using your keyboard and your mouse only stay tuned yeah so you know the first thing you need to do is go to settings the next thing you need to do is go to your controller actually it's just a basic thing so the first key that uh, you need to set is your hold cues St let's start with that uh, mine I've set with X I'm working with X for my hold Q1 which is this so whenever I press X when I have a deck selected to lose play the first hold key like this yeah so that helps then the second hold cue that I've said is for Z that is the key Z so that is the key Z that is the other cue that I've said I have set only two cues you can set as many as you want yeah so it's just like that the other thing the other part that uh, I would like to talk about is the crossfader now if you can see the crossfader right now is at 50 that is the middle point the value so if you are facing your the virtual DJ interface right now your left hand is your zero percent and your right hand is the hundred percent and where your face is is the fifty percent that is the middle so mine i've just done a key e for the crossfader zero that is when i press e it will move the crossfader to that side to the left side now and i've done a r to take it back to 50 so once it is at e the r takes it back at 50 it works like that then I've set the T at for the crossfader to be at a hundred. So when I press the T, it will always go to a hundred. Yeah. Basically, that's it for the setup. Uh, now, if you need the samplers like I've done mine, I've set pads. You have to map this and. The simplest way that I've found to map this is that you select a key, don't start writing anything, just toggle that and drag it. Select whichever effect that you want on the side list and it will be up. Yeah, the others are basically that the space for playing the C, I've set it for the key and stop, shift plus space for the same. For those who don't who use that mostly i don't then the other part we are going is for the settings now yeah so for the settings The settings are there you can leave the options and all the but just jump all that and go to the audio that will matter the audio and the video so the first thing you need is the audio to detect yes exclusive audio access to no you can just match them like mine uh, the key detection I'm not using the pro range I'm using the electronic for the key detection but as you know you can't rely on this so there's a software called mixed in key it's a software to be purchased so you can purchase that it will help you in your keys if you're a guy who likes harmonic mixing that will be much more suitable for you for me i love harmonic mixing i always like to mix in key so then because of the scratches you might forget to take this back 
like say if you played with your mixer panel maybe you put your low like that and you need to put another song and the setting is like that and you're in a hurry you want to make, maybe to do a mashup you see it to be hard because the songs that you want to drop won't have the same amount of volume like the others because the effects will be different yeah then the pitch range like that Both microphone and uh, the vinyl mode, yes. Color is a default, then it's always good for you to split your headphones. For the video, now we've come to the video part. Just do this video on load, yes. The letter boxing, yes. Use that you 30 frames per second if you have a good. If you have good graphics, you can do that. Okay, for me, I'm using the video close fader link. This that I'm linking the video to the audio. Like whenever I scratch, my video will always scratch with the audio. If I scratch the any vinyl here, even the video will scratch. Yeah, so basically that's it. That's oh, before I forget, uh, this is the full version of the virtual DJ 8. So go to the virtual DJ site, buy it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel that is Ghetto Beast Entertainment subscribe comment like the video if you have any questions you can ask feel free uh, for me basically I've done some mixes and I've been recording them not on a virtual DJ actually I've been using an external software and I've seen it's a trick that you can use to do that but that's it's for another day stay tuned as i'm coming to give you another tutorial on how to record your virtual dj mixes your video mixes using a, a screen recorder stay tuned thanks for watching